What do an AFL player, a chef, an Olympian and an Outback nurse all have in common? They want to win a million dollars. Standing in their way, one massive mountain. If I knew going in there, they'd probably take one look at me and go, here's Barbie. I wasn't afraid to double cross anybody at all. Oh my God, what on earth have I got myself into? Over 8,000 feet high, Antarctic winds carry its call far and wide. The challenge, an invitation to the summit. One mountain, 14 strangers. Two weeks, one million dollars. 14 strangers get dropped into the back country of New Zealand. And we have 14 days to get to the summit. There was a million dollars split between us in our backpacks. If you fail an obstacle or you give up, your money goes back to Queenstown. There were checkpoints, and at a checkpoint, you could vote someone off. Money could be lost, money could be stolen. To get to the top or to get to the summit was just the beginning. Climb starts now. I went on the summit because one of the things was that I wanted to lose 10 kilos before, before Christmas. <laughs> And that didn't work. Probably could have done a bit more training. <laughs> She's the mama of the mountain, although Kitty prefers... Whereas I called myself the mountain cougar. I don't feel 60, I feel like I'm still 19, which gets me into some trouble sometimes. There was about four that I could see what would be off the, off the straight away because I wasn't as fit as them. The 60-year-old's secret weapon, resilience. I don't believe in putting people down. Um, because I, I have been on the other side of that. A nurse in a remote town in the Northern Territory, the mother of two has dedicated her life to helping others. I take this with me everywhere. It's actually hemorrhoid cream. What skills do you think you bring to the summit that you may have over some of the other contestants? Well, I'm a personal trainer. I'm a strength and conditioning coach. I was actually thinking it was going to be a bit of a walk in the park. This is going to be easy money. Boy, was Sam from Sydney wrong. Looks like fun. Yeah. It won't be. <laughs> was it difficult to cut people along the way? If you can't handle it, you've got to go. But I don't think I was anywhere near as cutthroat as Jance was. I thought I had a good friendship with him, but I tell you what, he's shown his true colours and I'm pissed. I was going there for one reason. It wasn't to make friends. It was to win that million dollars. Jans is the summit's most confident contestant, with an ace up his sleeve. The Queenslander can cook. Oh, look at that. When it came time to tough decisions, when you had my food in your belly, my name wasn't really going to be brought across the table. Something out there, watching their every move. Keeper. Hosted by Aussie actor and Hollywood star Jai Courtney, on, the summit it. is a marathon of endurance. Sleep with one eye open. Contestants work as a team to tackle wild weather, difficult terrain and survive dangerous challenges. I found myself in a situation where I had to leave my house with my children. I didn't even have a car and, and there was a housing crisis. The 38-year-old single mum from South Australia says parenthood is the best preparation. I'm Stephen the sock guy and I'm taking these socks to the summit. For Stephen, life's too short for plain white socks. For me, that'd be trying to make 800,000 socks to make a million dollars. I spent 20 years representing Australia in aerial skiing. I went to five Olympic Games and was world number one five times. Jackie Cooper is on top of her game and on top of the world. While Jackie is no stranger to snow and ice, the mother of three has never been camping. I'm so proud of my mummy uh, that, that she did something not just like driving us to school or making us dinner. I don't think anyone knew who I was, so uh, it was actually quite good. Alex understands what it takes to win. Having played for the Fremantle Dockers and Carlton Football Clubs, the AFL greats out of retirement. I need to be really careful here. I don't want to be a polarising figure in this group. And on, but at the same time, we, we needed strong people um, physically to, to get us through. He's been lacking something since footy and I think this was just the perfect challenge. Australia, the adventure begins on Sunday.
We're here to win, right? Let's get that cash. To have this opportunity is absolutely life-changing. Pulling out was, was not on the cards. Oh, it looks unreal, doesn't it? The summit premieres on Sunday at 7pm here on Nine.